Hello, hello, Natalia. Welcome. How are you today? Ready? Hello, Gabby. Welcome. Ready for the action? Welcome, Vanessa. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. A lot of people joining right now. A lot of people joining. Good, good. Okay. Uh, let's get it started now. Okay, we're gonna start right now the class with a beautiful, amazing, wonderful activity. Yes, but before getting started, we have to remember something important. English is? English is? Ah. Easy. Easy, brother. Easy. Very good. English is very English easy. Is easy. What is the secret? Practice. Practice. And practice. practice. That's the secret. If you don't practice eh, on the neck, yes, the results will be, or you will get results slowly. Yeah, you will see results slowly. But if you practice a lot, your results will be better. Your results will be better. Okay, cool. Now, quickly. Okay. okay, let's see. Now, the activity that we're gonna have, it's gonna be a listening activity, okay? Let me share with you right now the page or the link that you are gonna have to practice listening, okay? Which is very, very important. Now, let's see. First, this one. Oh my goodness. This is the one. Fast food, talking about fast food. There it goes. Let me share it. This is the one. Now it says, instructions please, Elvis, what kinds of items? Mm -hmm. What kinds? What kinds of uh, I item? items? Items. Were you expert uh, to find at a fast uh, food restaurant? Also, uh, nature possible for problems uh, that could uh, occur, occur occur at so. So, a restaurant I didn't. In terms in of terms, in terms, sorry, uh -huh. in terms of service and service and food preparation. Very good. Uh huh. Tell me, what do you want to find in a fast food restaurant? What do you expect to find? Huh? I had hair, uh, cabello, encontré un cabello en la comida. Ah, okay, that's good. But do you want to find that in a fast food restaurant? No, right? <laughs> that that can be that, that can be the, the second activity. The second activity, name three possible problems that could occur at such a restaurant in terms of service and food preparation. Mm. Very good, very good. One problem is that you find a hair, a hair on the food. Okay, good. But the first thing is what kinds of items would you expect to find at a fast food restaurant? Uh-huh. When we visit them. 
when you go to a restaurant, you visit the restaurant, mm -hmm. what kind of objects, items? For example, the forks, menu part. The, the menu part. Uh -huh. What is the object that you use to stick on the food? And... How do you say uh, tenedor? Fork. 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 You can you, you want to find or you need forks. Mm, Cucharas. Okay. Spoons. Very good. Spoons. What else? Mm -hmm. yeah. Napkins. 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 Serbieta. What else? Mm -hmm. Alcohol gel, right? Alcohol gel. Yeah. Uh huh. Ah, that's a nice one. If I'm not mistaken, you say pahia sips, sips. But let's let's take a look. Please investigate with me. I remember that it was sips. No, it was. No, what is it? What is the um? What what is the the proper name of pajilla? In Mexico, popote. No, 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 no. Sorbete. Teacher, <laughs> change the the language. Okay. <laughs> straw. 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 Oh. Very good. Straw. straw. So we have here straw. Straw. What else? Knife, right? Cuchillo, knives. And other items, okay? Tables. <laughs> chairs. Oh, chairs. Yeah, many other things, right? Okay, but what kind of problems can you find in the restaurant? For example, that you find here on the floor. Yeah. Um, uh, did el, el, the time to oh. serve? The mm. time to serve the food. You need to wait a lot of time. Excellent. Another problem? Mistake on the mistake on the order. An order mistake. Excellent. That you, that that you receive something that you didn't ask for, that you didn't order. Excellent. Okay. Let's see the next activity. Idioms. Look, we have idioms here. Fill up on. Fill up on. Become full. Hey. Don't fill up on potato chips before lunch. Don't fill up on llenarse. No te vayas a empanzar, por ejemplo. No te vayas a empanzar. No te vayas a fuliar. Fuliar, podemos decir. Hello? I'm sorry, I have a question. Yes, brother. Why, why is fill up on potato chips and no fill up with potato chips? Excellent. Very good. This is like, um, because it's the phrase, it's part of the phrase, fill up on. Uh, these idioms are like, for example, in Spanish, dichos, right? For example, uh, uh, estoy fuliado, estoy fuliado, ahora estoy fuliado, fuliado. Un gringo que escuche la palabra fuliado, no va a entender fuliado, ¿qué es fuliado? Entonces, es igual a esto, la frase, la frase lleva ya on ahí. Ok. Fill up on, es como llenar, llenar un tanque, llenar, eh, llenar algo con otra cosa. Pero aquí, cuando lo usamos en este contexto, y utilizamos, hey, be careful, don't fill up on hamburger, don't fill up on soda, don't fill up on... On what? 
on potato chips. En el contexto o sea, en... Este caso, en... en este ¿Ah? caso ocupamos plum por, por ser algo como... Por ser parte del... El... Por ser parte de la frase, del, del dicho. Uh -huh, del dicho. Por ejemplo, eh, otro dicho que decía. A caballo regalado no se le busca al lado. Eh, another, another, uno más corto. El que come callado come dos veces. Ah, ah. <risa> no sé. Yeah. Ah, tener cuidado, el que come callado come dos veces. Entonces, Ale, come callado, no estoy comiendo. ¿Por qué me está diciendo que? Pues, ah, ya hay, da otro mensaje, igual aquí. Filapón. Don Filapón. Ajá. Sí, no te vas a foliar con, con potero, por ejemplo. Entonces, on se utiliza no porque sea poteros, no porque sea otra cosa, está encima, no, es porque la frase así es, así es el dicho. Fill up on. Fill up on. Que es igual, similar a como llenarse. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Very good, excellent. Wipe up. Quickly prepare. Could you? Could you wipe up a simple salad for the barbecue? Hey, puedes ahí, no sé, algún, algo, algo similar, rapidito. algo rapidito. Hey, puedes hacer ahí una sal salada rapidito, ahí, rapidito. Very good. Wipe up. Ahora, esto es lenguaje, puede ser un lenguaje informal, right? O entre chero, en, ok. Very good. Pay attention, please. Listen, and we are going to complete. Let me see. Milton, read the first question. The customer doesn't buy. Uh -huh. um, the customer doesn't buy the recommending sandwich because uh, he doesn't want a big burger. He is worried about the effect of, of, uh, uh, about the effect of his body. It's too expensive for him right now. Excellent. Vanessa, the combo meal. The combo meal doesn't come with a dessert, a sandwich, or the combo meal doesn't come with. Okay. Next, Rafa. How does the specialty, the specialty drink get its name? It is provided we in the in the kitchen sink. It comes in a very large cup. It contains a wide range of ingredients. 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 Okay, in this part, it is prepared. It is prepared Excellent. in the kitchen sink. Excellent. Next, Nelson, the man is surprised. <laughs> okay. The man is, is surprised with the price of all his male becomes because he feels a drink should be included. Included. He drinks the meal, the meal is way overpriced. He was charged charged for two sandwiches instead of one. Sandwich or sandwiches? Sandwiches. Excellent. Finally, Gabi, at the end of the cost, at the end the customer. At the end, the customer decides. Decides come again later. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere else to eat mm -hmm. and order something about uh, from the menu. Excellent. Good job. Okay, very good. Lights, camera, action. Pay attention, please. When I share the sound. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant. Hi. Home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week, yeah. and it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But the Kitchen Sink. A what? Everything But the Kitchen Sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, 
Fanta Orange, and Lemonade with uh, crushed ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now, that sounds disgusting. Ah. Hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Okay, your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety for just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger. That's、mm. all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man, the one pound super hot and spicy,、Ooh. the one pound barbecue burger,、oh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger. The one pound. No, no, those are all huge. <laughs> well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids menu: the half pound super hot and spicy burger,、uh, the half pound barbecue burger,、no. the half pound bacon cheeseburger, the, the half pound. No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to ten bucks. What about the other ninety cents? Hmm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And okay, okay, I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week. One more time, pay attention. Remember, the man is in a、um, fast food restaurant, okay? And he goes with the, the what? In front of the the person who's serving in the restaurant, he's ordering the food. Pay attention. One more time. The customer doesn't buy the recommended sandwich because he doesn't want a burger. Pay attention. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant,、Hi. home of the one-pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay. What would you like today? Would you like to try the one-pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week, and、yeah. it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But the Kitchen Sink. A what? Everything but the kitchen sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup: Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushed、uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now that sounds disgusting.、Ah. Hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Okay, your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety for just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger. That's、mm. all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man, the one pound super hot and spicy,、Ooh. the one pound barbecue burger,、Ooh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger, the one pound. No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids menu: the half pound super hot and spicy burger,、uh, the half pound barbecue burger,、no. the half pound bacon cheeseburger, the、same. half pound. No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are. Hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to ten bucks. What about the other ninety cents? Hmm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And okay, okay, I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week. Okay, let's try to do it. The customer doesn't buy the recommended sandwich because he doesn't want a big burger. He's worried about the effect on his body. It's too expensive for him right now.、Mm -hmm. Which one do you think it is? Expensive, I think. I don't know. Okay. Anybody else? Do you agree with? Milton, too expensive. Expensive.、Yes. Let's see. Too expensive. Oh my、uh, goodness! He's worried about、moment. the effect on his body. Okay. He says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hot burn for a few days. Like I wanna have、uh, problems、so. in my stomach." 
Look. Wake up the, no, no. Oh, I don't think so. I probably have a heartburn for a week after down in that monster. Heartburn means a lot of grease in your heart and you will need to do exercise. Um, because a big burger. Two, the combo meal doesn't come with The combo meal doesn't include what? Sandwich? A dessert. A dessert? Sandwich. Okay. Excellent. Well, it's our house special this week. It comes with fries and a large specialty drink called everything but the kitchen sink. How does the specialty drink get its name? It is prepared in the kitchen sink. In the kitchen sink. It's mm -hmm. come in a large cup. It contains a wide range of ingredients. If you're not sure, my goodness. <laughs> if you're not sure, let's listen to it again. Hi, welcome to, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you care <laughs> for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Okay, your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety? Sink. A what? Till this week. Yes. And it comes uh, with fries and a large specialty drink called everything but the kitchen sink. A what? Everything but the kitchen sink. A what? And the person explains. Everything but the kitchen sink. What in the world is that? What is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade, with uh, crushed ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now that's a little mix of everything. Uh -huh. It contains a wide range of ingredients. Of ingredients? Excellent. Well, it's a little mix of everything. In a large cup, Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with lemonade. crushed ice and a scoop of an ice cream. All of this... All of this is the drink, Special kitchen drink. sink. <laughs> kitchen sink, oh my God. <laughs> the man is surprised with the price of his meal because? Because. He feels a drink should be included. He thinks the meal is a way overpriced. Mm -hmm. Overpriced, excellent. Yeah. Thank 90. For just a burger, you got to be kidding. At the end, the customer decides to come again later, goes somewhere else to eat, orders something from the menu. From the menu. Order something else. from the menu. Excellent. We made a mistake only here, right? In the first one. Okay, pay attention to the script. This is the script. Take a look. This is the script. Look. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant. Hi. Home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay. What would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week. And yeah. it comes with fries and a large special. Okay, in this moment, please, in groups, you are going to do this. Pay attention. You're going to listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Listen. You're going to listen to all of this. Pay attention. Hi. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant, Hi. home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here to go? And then you will imitate in the group. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Hi. Restaurant. Hi. Hi, excellent. Home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. So listen to this. Stop. Repeat, listen to this, 
stop, repeat. Listen to this, stop, repeat. Listen to this, stop, repeat. When you finish, practice. Or no, wait a minute. We're gonna do it here. And then you practice better. Okay, listen and repeat this. One, two, three. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant, Hi. home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Okay, okay, repeat in your house. Or to go, or to go. Uh, to go. Okay. Uh, to go. Uh, to go. Okay, pay attention here. Hey, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Uh huh. Okay, what would you like today? What would you? Would you? Similar to could you? Similar. Could you? Would you? Could you? Would you? Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Emphasis, emphasis. Pay attention. Okay. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Uh, spicy cheeseburger? Okay, again, repeat, please. Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Excellent. I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, you know, it's our house special this week, yeah. and it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But the Kitchen Sink. What? Everything but the kitchen sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushed uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now that My goodness. From here. Uh-huh. Uh, what? Everything but the kitchen sink? What in the world is that? Uh, well... It's a little mix of everything, a large cup, Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushed ice and a scoop of ice cream. That sounds disgusting. Right. Hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah. I say, ah, that sounds disgusting. Hey, it'll grow on you. And it says, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion? <laughs> nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. He says, boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? And then he says, no, rings? thank you. No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Mm, no, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Okay, your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety for just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding! Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger. That's mm. all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one-pound burgers. Man. The one-pound super hot and spicy, Ooh. the one-pound barbecue burger, oh. and the one-pound bacon cheeseburger, the one-pound... No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, <laughs> yeah, you should order from the kids' menu. The half-pound super hot and spicy burger, uh, the half-pound barbecue burger, no. the half-pound bacon cheeseburger, the half-pound... No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are... Hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to ten bucks. What about the other ninety cents? Hmm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And okay, okay, I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week. <laughs> okay, good. Practice this, please, and don't forget the vocabulary. The looks. 
higher quality than similar products. To go, para llevar. Eh? ¿Lo quiere para comer aquí o para llevar? Do you want it? Will this be to here? Aquí le pregunta. Eh? Very good. Aquí le dice. Eh? Will this be for here? Es para comer aquí. Will this be for here or to go? O para llevar. Eh, down something. Tragarlo. Cuando le dice. Eh, aquí le dice. Is there one part burger? Okay. Aquí le dice. Eh. Probablemente tendré que quemar calorías por una semana después de tragarme ese monstruo. De hamburguesa. Mm -hmm. Grow on someone. Develop a liking for someone or something over time. Le va a gustar, ya a ver qué le va a gustar. Aquí le pregunta, ¿eh? Le va a encantar. Hey, le dice aquí. Hey, it'll grow on you. It grow on you. Te encantará. Not agree with someone. Hearty eater. Someone who enjoys eating a lot. Somos unos comelones. Hearty eater. Okay. Practice, please. I'm going to share the link in this moment. Solo practiquen el script. One person is the server. The other person is the customer. Fluency, please. Hi, welcome to Joy's Hamburger Restaurant. Home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will it be for here or to go? Mm, uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Very good. I'm going to send the link in WhatsApp and I'm going to send the link in Google, I'm sorry, in the chat of Zoom. Lights, camera, action. Oh my goodness. ¿Quién no se puede conectar? Chat. Lights, camera, action, please. Go to the groups. Go to the groups. One, two, Three, go.
Vaya, muy bien. Was the Ninet Burger only comes to the book? What about the order Ninet sent? Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from Jory Hills and. Okay, okay. I will take the GM Burger and a bowl of your spring water. The sandwich sold feed me for a week. Okay. Bye, chicas. Okay. Dana, ¿qué sería usted? Deme un instante. Voy yo, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ah, Vaya. Eh, no sé quién, qué, quién quiere ser usted sí. Voy a intentar con el vendedor A ver cómo sale Bye Ok Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant Home of the one pound super deluxe Hot and spicy cheeseburger Will this be before a hero to go? Oh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Mm, I don't think so. I'll probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house especially this week and it comes with fries and a large especially drink called everything but the chicken sink. Ah, uh, what? Every everything but the kitchen sink. What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup: Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushes, ice, and a scoop of ice cream. Ah, that sounds disgusting. Hey, it grows on you. Nay, nay. I think. Uh, I'll just order a, a, a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheese onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Mm, okay, your total comes to 1090. 1090 for just a hamburger? You got to be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger. That's all. Well, sir, just hamburger restaurant only serves one pound burgers. The one pound super hot and spicy, the one pound barbecue burger, the one pound bacon cheese burger, the one pound Puede, puede bajar. <laughs> no, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, you should order from the kids menu. The whole pound super hot and spicy burger, the half pound barbecue burger, the half pound bacon cheese burger, the half pound no, those are still giant burgers. Well, in this part, we are healthy eaters. Okay, but you said my total was 1090, but the burger only comes to 10 bucks. What about the other 90 cents? Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills and... Okay, okay. I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should... Fit me for a week. Okay. <laughs> Bye.
Ahora Bam. pueden hacerlo otra vez y cambiando de persona. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Quién va ahorita? Serían ustedes. Ah, ya, ya. Ya no pasa. Pero ya se acabó el tiempo. Ay. Me atrae esas palabras. Ajá. Está complicado esto. Spicy cheese. Leros. Okay, we have to go over the book right now. Let's see. Now that we have already practiced for a while, it's time to go over the book. Open your beautiful, amazing, wonderful book on page. Let's see what is gonna be the page. 23. 23. It says, um, Read a survey about a customer's experience with a product. How satisfied are you with this product? Hmm, the person says, be satisfied. satisfied. Number two, rate your opinion about the product's quality. Very low value. The value of this product is four. four. Will you continue using this product? No. No. This is a survey for customer's experience. My question is for you. Do you think service are important? Yes. Yes, it's, it's yes. Important. yes, they are. Okay, why? Yes. Why do you think they are important? All teachers' service are important because... Uh, sometimes the server, the service is the difference. Excellent. Very good. Other ID? Because it's very service. Sorry? It's very service. Excellent. It helps to give a better service. Okay. What else? It's part of the experience. It's part of the experience. Okay. Hmm. Because it's imaging of company? It's the image of the company. Image. Good job, good job. What is what is better? An asorbi online or a sorbi on paper? Paper. It depends. It depends. Uh -huh. It depends on what? Um, the product, the service. For example, a restaurant, online or paper? paper. Online. Can be paper because uh, the customer is in, in the place. It's in the place, okay? It can be paper. Danas yes. is online too, right? Online could be. Teacher, I have experience in the Dennis. It's online. No. Uh, it's not on paper, online. No, no paper. Mm -mm. To, to make it fast, right? Fast survey. Yes. It's the same with Tigo. It's the same with Tigo. Okay. Yes, uh, when we call oh, them to, to check any information, after the call, uh, we receive a, a email and it says uh, we realize you already called to us 
in order to check information and we need to check uh, what was your experience with the of agent. Excellent brother, good explanation. In some companies, uh -huh, they uh, check at the end of the call, right? Perfect. Let's look at this. Um, the customer, how was the customer experience in this in this restaurant bad, right? The customer was experience was bad. Is the product a good one or a bad one? It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Of course it's bad. Think about possible problems the customer had. Aha. Uh -huh. Imagine, imagine what were the problems? What were the problems in the rest? The, the client, the not satisfied. The opinion, low quality. The product, uh, will you continue with the product? No. Oh. Possible problems, possible. Uh huh. The sabor de For example, oh. for uh huh. Oh. The employees need training. The employees need training. Excellent. One possible problem. Another? Um, when the food is uh, yeah. like, um, I don't know how do you say, I don't know, frozen food? Ah, I don't know. What. Cool or cold? Cold? cold. Ah, cold food, very good. Because you, you're expecting to have something prepared in the moment, right? Yes. Excellent. Cold food? Other? It's no, it's no service. Slow service. Another? The product is on, on its expiration date. The product is on expiration date. You cannot eat and then you see e expiration date. Uh, July 2021. My good. Another example, the last one, another problem. Take with the order. Ah, problem with the order, right? Okay, it could be. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. We can use may and might to talk about what? To talk about? Pro Excellent. Possibilities. Possibilities. Or probabilities. Proba. Which is the same, right? Possibilities or a probability. A, something that is probability. Mm -hmm. Only that. Imagine. Pay attention. Imagine. Imagine the customer. Okay. The customer is very angry. Uh, you call the customer and then, oh, hello, this is a uh, person speaking or this is Wilbur speaking. Am I talking with um, Dana? Yes, this is Dana. How can I help you? Oh, I am from Claro and I want you to give me three minutes to answer some questions related with the service. Okay, no problem. Are you satisfied with the products that we offer to you? No, I'm not satisfied. Okay, why? Because the internet connection sometimes has problems and the price is very expensive. For example, right? For example, don't take it personal. Teacher, I am Claro Lover. 
I am a claro lover. No, 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 it's an example. Okay, okay. Number two. What is your opinion about the cable TV? Good? Bad? We need to improve the service? Um, it, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. Will you continue the next year using this product? Yes, no, maybe, and why? Eh, maybe. Okay, why? Yeah, because, you know, sometimes you guys eh, offer something or have promotions. And if I call and want to apply for a promotion, you say that is not possible because I have a contract. And the, the promotion is only for the people that don't have contracts. And okay, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Dana, for uh, answering these questions. Have a wonderful day. I have written all the feedback. A uh, blessing. Okay, thank you. For example. Ah. And then Wilbur, Wilbur called Dana. And Wilbur thinks about possibilities, hmm. possibilities, or probabilities. Probabilities with what? With the, with the client. What are the probabilities? Dana, ah, probability number one, may or might. Teacher, are the may and might Simple words, simple words. Teacher, may and might are similar, similar. Yes, they are similar. The difference is that may, the probability of may is 70%. 70% of what, teacher? Of a probability. Might maybe is forty percent, forty percent, or fifty percent of what teacher probability? Only that probabilities may more probability might less probability. Okay, for example, and then Wilbur is like worried. Ah, uh, Dana doesn't feel okay with the service. Hmm. Tell me two. Tell me two probabilities using may for Dana. Hmm. Dana may may what? Wants to cancel. Me, Dana, excellent. I'm gonna write here. Pay attention. Probability is just a speculations. Ah, Dana, Dana may cancel the contract. I don't know. It's just may probable. Yeah, something probable may cancel the contract. Another probability, seventy percent. Dana may. Change to to another company. To another company, maybe Tigo. Okay. My goodness, a lot of <laughs> a lot of a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of clients. Might. Look, might. The probability, the probability is very low, but it's a probability. Dana might what? Dana is angry. No, I don't like the service. Uh, Dana might. Might not recommend the services to might any friends. Might not recommend. Excellent. Look, negative. Might not recommend the service to her friends. 
Why? Because you call Dana. Do you like the service we give you about the cable? No, no, because, okay. Are you satisfied? No. The quality of the product is good or bad? Bad. Bye-bye. Mm. Dana may cancel. She, or you can say she. She may cancel the contract, probably. We need to check. We need to check. She may change to another company. Ah. Dana might not recommend the service to her friend. Another probability. She might not continue with the service. Not continue with the service. With the service. Teacher, pay attention. Teacher, it is an obligation, obligation in this. Dana may can, teacher, can I change may and with might? Yes, no problem. Okay. What is the difference? The message, the probability is low. Only that. Probability. No problem. It's okay. In an exam, in an exam, imagine in an exam, write three examples using might. Okay, might, might, might. He might, she might, no problem. Two examples using may. may. No problem. Okay. So, no, no, when you talk about probabilities, no rule. No rules. Only one, the probabilities, is your decision. Yes? Is your decision. May, the probability is higher. In my, the probability is lower. For example, I may ask for a refund. You may buy. Yes? At a different store. They may not. Look, may not. Teacher, contraction teacher, mayn't, no contraction, forever, may not. Mayn't, mm -mm. como es eso, mayn't ahí. Okay. Mayn't no. Might, she might want, probability might complain, we might ask, he might not, might not. Excellent. Quickly, please. Quickly, 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 quick. Como es? Quickly. Pay attention here. Look, speaking. No, not speaking. Help me, please. What time is it right now? Hello? May and might is about all the topics. May and might. What do you mean? Um, si se puede aplicar en todos los temas que querramos. Yes, it's okay. It's okay with all the verbs. Okay. Yeah, it's okay with all the verbs. Mm -hmm. eh, cualquier tema o tiene temas en específico. Eh, for example. Eh, ah. Cuando... Yeah, probabilities about yeah, probabilities for the weather, probabilities for the activities, for the yeah, probabilities in general. Esa es, es la pregunta, como que yes. Ah, okay, okay. Sí, probabilidades en general, de en el contexto, cualquier contexto. Por ejemplo, uh, eh, teacher, eh, fíjese que Patricia nos está Patricia aquí, Patricia. La voy a mentar. Hello. Ahí está Patricia. La voy a mentar, Patricia. Que le mienten. Uh -huh. Digamos que Patricia no está en clase. Y viene Milton y dice, teacher, eh, estoy en el grupo con Patricia. My group teacher is Dana, Vanessa and Patricia. Pero Patricia le escribió a Vanessa y le dijo, Probablemente no me conecte ahora. 
¿Cómo le pudo haber dicho eso a ella? Hey, Vanessa. Probably, probably no necessary. Hey, Vanessa. I may. I may. O también puede usar my. Si ella considera may. que la probabilidad de conectarse es más, may. Pero la pos posibilidad de no conectarse es, es más baja o hay may. Hey, Vanessa, I may not connect today because I feel <coughs> sick or I might not. So it's a probability. And then Vanessa, teacher, teacher, uh, Patricia may not connect because she sent me a message and she feels uh, that she felt very uh, sick. <laughs> ah, she may not. So it's like probability. Me, de repente, suddenly, Patricia. Hello, teacher, I am here. Hey, Patricia, welcome. Yes. Okay. Number one, you're welcome, $10. You may pay me a check. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Okay, number one. What is number one? Look, he no be satisfied. Uh huh. It's your decision. It's your decision. May or might? Not might. Okay. Okay. He is your decision. He might not be satisfied. Number two. The warranty, okay. warranty. May, may, may not be long. Okay, may, may be longer. 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 The service. The service. Uh -huh. The service. May, may not be excellent. May. Okay, you can say may or you can say might. No problem. Might. Not be excellent. <laughs> You, you may, recommend. you may or you, you may. might recommend, recommend. recommend it. Recommend it. Five. The waiter, the waiter sir. may or might be Man. in a hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry is like this. <laughs> Imagine that you go to a restaurant. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Wilbur Avila. How can I help you? We have we have a table. We have another table over there. This table is for two people. That table is for four people. How many people are you right now? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Yes, we have a, we have a table there for people. We have a, one other there, two people. A table for uh, two people. Okay, come here, come here. Follow me. Uh, half people, come here. And you are, ah. This man is... Crazy. And then maybe, no, maybe, no, maybe. <laughs> en vez de meter maybe, mm, he, he, he may, ahí le ponemos por el may, he may be in a hurry. Or he might. He might be in a hurry. Ahora quizá hay andar apurado por algo. Amanda, Amanda, ajá. Uh -huh. May. Okay. May or may. might. Or might. Two possibilities. May or might not use, use. use product, right? The product, for example. Next time. Okay. Easy, peasy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. What time is it? At Nine, 40. To 10. What? A quarter to ten. A quarter to ten. Very good. We are going to stop the topic in this. Excellent, Vanessa. Very good. Eso. Uh, I was going to send the photo of the exercise, but you sent it. Very good. Okay, in this moment, we're going to stop 
And we are going to check one video of pronunciation. Pay attention, please. Video of pronunciation. Let me see. Schoology. Lo tengo aquí with you guys. Video of pronunciation. Lovers. No, no, no. Okay, pronunciation number one. Lo voy a adelantar porque no está es un poquito largo. We are going to check the pronunciation of car. Okay, for example, car. Yes, rare. Radish. Work. No hacer car. Car. Eh, rabbit. Ra. Sino que. La pronunciación de la W. Ya muchos la hacen ese sonido, pero we, we can watch the video. Pay attention, please. Program, you're often going to see me. When you practice, I recommend that you. I will be showing you how to correctly form new sounds by changing the position of your tongue or changing the shape of your lips. These small changes are going to make very big changes in your speech. Regarding practicing, I recommend that you use the training manual and try to practice often. When you practice, I recommend that you start out speaking slowly, out loud in a strong voice, while exaggerating all the mouth movements. What you will be doing is retraining the muscles of your mouth and your tongue to move in new ways, which will produce new pronunciation patterns. These new speech patterns will slowly and eventually evolve into your own spontaneous fast speech, but it is important that you start out going very slow. If you can pronounce words and sentences correctly speaking slowly, well then you'll have no problem saying them fast. I believe practicing is important, but I do not believe it's the only key toward success. Being aware of your errors, that's the key. Being aware and also recognizing mistakes when you hear them will probably be the most important factor towards your improvement. Another thing I'd like you to keep in mind, and I'm sure you may have noticed this already, is that when most Americans speak, you will notice that we seem to open our mouths a lot, and there's a great amount of mouth movement. Watch my mouth when I say something like, Wow, was it really raining on Wednesday? Did you see how much my mouth seemed to move? It wasn't with my lips flat. It wasn't, wow, was it really raining on Wednesday? There was a lot of movement. My mouth opened wide, but also my whole mouth moved forward. Now, I find many foreign speakers, maybe because of their language's characteristics, they don't move and what it is a lot to do with the sound of American English. I also want to add that I will repeat the words back to me, and then later on we'll work with vowel sounds. Word or add. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Let's get started. Let's start with the American R. R's are everywhere. They are probably the most commonly occurring consonant sound in English. One reason for this is that R's affect vowel sounds, especially when an R falls at the end of a word or after a vowel sound, as in the word car, or the word air, or the word turn. After working with so many non-native English speakers from around the world, I believe the R sound is one of the main causes for being misunderstood in American English. Therefore, this is why I've chosen to start out with this sound. Now, in some languages like Arabic and Spanish, 
The R is produced by bringing the tongue forward in the front of the mouth, behind the upper teeth, and rolling or trilling the tongue. Rrrr, like that. Now in some other languages, like German and French, the R is produced in the back of the throat. Our lips come tightly forward, as if you would be saying the ooh sound. Do this with me. Say ooh, and make sure you're bringing your lips all the way forward. Say ooh, that's it. You see how your lips are forward? That's what you want to do. This is the position your mouth should be in when you produce an American R, like that. And I'll bet you no one ever told you that. Now, the second thing is that your tongue moves back in your mouth. It doesn't come forward, it's pulled back. This is probably the opposite of what you are doing right now. So for example, in the word rock, notice how my lips are coming forward and my tongue moves back in my mouth and I push out the R sound. Watch this, rock. Do it with me and exaggerate the R, rock. Watch it with my head turned, rock. You see that? See how the whole bottom of my face came forward? Don't be afraid to do this. This forward mouth movement is what is going to give you an American R sound. It's not rock, and it's not rock with your lips flat. Your whole mouth really has to come forward. Now later, I recommend that you practice doing this in front of a mirror while watching your mouth. Really push out the R, and remember to pull your tongue back. Now one way of checking if you're doing this correctly with your tongue is by actually putting your finger around an inch into your mouth while saying an R word. Watch this, rock, like that. You should be able to take the tip of your finger and feel the tip of your tongue. If you do these two simple things, bringing your mouth forward and pulling your tongue back, I'm telling you, your speech is going to be clearer and you're going to sound so much better. Okay, we're going to start out with R's at the beginning of words. Here we go. Repeat after me. Rock. Rip. Reach. Road. Rain. Rich. Roam. Raise. Robe. Rice. Very good. Now repeat this sentence. The round rooster rushed into the wrong road. Uh huh. Who wants to read this? The round, round. Uh, go ahead. Rushed, rushed into the wrong road. 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 Very good. road. road. Uh -huh. The round road. rooster the round rushed, rushed, rushed into the wrong road. Como él decía, una U. Así. Los labios hacia adelante, de medio, medio se mueve, se mueve y se regresa. The round, the round, the the round rooster rushed into the round road. Very good. Now, pronouncing R's like this may feel a little weird to you, but if you notice, this is how most Americans talk. Okay, now let's do R's at the end of words or after a vowel. When a foreign speaker produces an R which is at the end of a word or follows a vowel, 
it's usually very weak. It's not really heard, and it leaves the word open or unfinished, like in the word car. Now, you may say ka, ending with an A vowel, but it's not ka, it's car. Your tongue has to pull back, car. And also, your lips close a little bit in the front. The R needs to be very strong, and you need to close the word, car. Let's practice these words. Repeat after me. Car. Far. Star. Door. Bear. For air, year, and that has a high vowel sound, E, year, turn, and pour. Very good. Okay, now let's discuss R's in the middle of words. In the word very, for example, which is a frequently used word in English, the R occurs in the middle of the word. It's not a D sound. The word is not vedi or very. It's very. Make sure that the R sound is strong and your lips are coming forward. Your tongue is back and you push out the R. Very. Like that. Practice these sentences with me nice and slow. He is very, very nice. Like that. See how my lips are coming all the way forward? Next one. She is very, very tall. Here are some more practice words with R in the middle. Repeat after me. Direction. Arrange. Erase. Correct. Marry. Garage. Original. Hurry. Zero. Marine. Berry. Operation. Caring. Arrive. Everyone. Okay, very good. Now, R's are often combined with other consonants and form what we call R blends. It is important to understand that the R sound is the strongest sound of the blend, and your lips often come forward before you even say the word. An example of this is the word grape. Now notice how my mouth comes forward before I even say the word. Grape. Did you see that? And notice in the word grape, the R sound is stronger and you even hear it more than the G sound. Grape. Here are some practice words with R blends. First at the beginning of words. Here we go. Training. Siempre que usted vea este, estas dos letras juntas, ¿no? T, R, eso es una Ch, R. No decimos training, tre, sino que ch, training, training, tre, con Ch, training, trust, trust, no, tr trust, trust. 
Al principio, fíjense cómo comienza aquí, ve. Uno va a comenzar con las palabras. Dice, training. Se le escucha, training. No dice, training. Tres, training, training. Pay attention. Grape. Here are some practice words with R blends. First, at the beginning of words. Here we go. Training. Trust. Trip. Great. Tropical. Bring. Print. President. Product. Cracker. Crawl. Break. Okay, now in the middle of words. Subtract. Waitress. Nutrition. Australia. Introduce. Compress. Oppression. Betray. Very good. Okay, now let's practice R sounds in sentences. These sentences are filled with R's. Keep the R sounds strong. Don't forget to bring your mouth forward and pull your tongue back. Say these sentences with me. Here we go. The story he read on the radio was incorrect. Remember, los primeros tips que él dio para practicar pronunciación, como lo que estamos haciendo con la ED, worked, played, danced, visited, tiene que uno, decirlo en voz alta. Dos, hacer énfasis en el sonido que quiere practicar. Y tres, practicarlo, obviamente. Por ejemplo, worked, énfasis, worked, no se lo digo en la mente. No, lo digo en voz alta, worked, played, the. Ahora, entre más énfasis le dé, cuando ya lo practique, lo diga, no va a dar gran énfasis. Teacher, yesterday we worked in the park. No, sino que... La, el cerebro, naturalmente, lo complete va a decir, teacher, yesterday we worked, menos, pero sí le va a salir. We worked a lot in this. And we decided, and we decided to change some things from the conversation. It was very nice. We looked that, we looked. Ahora, igual aquí. Mañana les voy a mostrar estas oraciones separadas. Y en grupos la van a leer. ¿Cuál es el énfasis? Es esto, ¿eh? The story he read on the radio was incorrect. Was Como una R bien suave. Car, red, radio. No, Aunque no, la manera, no. excelente. Aunque ya el, a la, al momento de hablar decimos, teacher, the story, solo medio va a sacar un The story he read, the story he read on the radio, radio, radio. Es más rápido el movimiento cuando está hablando naturalmente. Teacher, yesterday I was listening to the radio, 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 radio. radio. Pero aquí, para practicar el sonido, más que todo para la lengua, para la mente, 
más énfasis. The story, más lento, hágalo lento. He read on the radio was incorrect. Okay. Les voy a pasar el link de este video. Lo tengo ahí en Google, ¿qué? En el Drive, creo. Ok. What time is it? It's time to go. The last, the last sentence. The story he read on the, on the radio, radio was incorrect. Her career in the law firm is permanent. Richard and Brooke took a ride in their brand new Range Rover truck. Everyone will respect the royal family when they arrive at the airport. Be sure to close the word air. air. It's not airport, it's air. Airport, like that with a strong R sound. The trip to the Rocky Mountains will be rescheduled on Friday. Very good. Okay, now let's talk about W. No, W, no. Okay, very good. Um, teacher, mire, y... Pues sí, pero ¿y cómo voy a practicar ese sonido? Está leyendo el libro de Elephant Man, ¿verdad? Toda palabra. Toda palabra que encuentre ahí, hagas, hágale el énfasis. Que llega un momento que usted no va a hacer énfasis. Es igual como cuando usted aprende a leer, pues, en español. No, no sé si se acuerdan ustedes, pero a veces, a veces, si se esta historia. Hay niños, hay niños que les cuesta decir la R, la R. No sé si ustedes se han fijado, no sé. Ahí cada quien se fija. No sé si se han fijado. R, K. Hay niños que dicen caro, caro, en vez de decir carro, carro. No se viene la maestra y les hace un ejercicio en la, de primer grado y les ponen un lapicero aquí. Y, o, o les cantan canciones. Hay cancioncitas que llevan solo rrr, carro, que no sé qué, y así. Y los ponen a leer. No sé cuándo, niño. Y el carro es bonito. Carro. Entonces, losa, losa. Acaba. Losa, losa. Entonces, eso es igual aquí. Estamos aprendiendo a leer mejor, pero en inglés, obviamente. O sea, aquí, por ejemplo, ve. ¿eh? My name is Dr. Frederick. Frederick Treves. Frederick Treves. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am a doctor. I doctor. Am at the I'm London, London hospital. hospital. Vamos a ver una que sí tenga. Um, 19, 1984. Horrible. ¿ve? Horrible. Horrible. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Very good. Horrible. Oh, horrible. Excelente. La idea es que no, no lo hacemos tan así. Horrible. Right. No, nosotros right. en, en El Salvador no hablamos tan así. Horrible. No, pero si le podemos dar más suavidad. Horrible. 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 Otra, por ejemplo, vamos a decir el momento y pensa. Mm, dirty. Dirty. Eh, no tengo el no, sino sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, throw. Sorry. Careful. 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 Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, amazing night. Remember, the book is for next week. Read the book. Tomorrow we continue. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Bye. teacher. Bye. Have a good night, Bye. everybody. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Yeah. Good night.